please understand, this is not our strategy. This is a training method to build the attributes necessary to handle that weapon correctly when we're defending ourselves with it. So now we're going to move on to is the actual strategy that would use if it would be a weapon on weapons fight. And for this round right here, once again, we're going to be focusing on knife on knife. So what I'm going to do is, is bring, first of all, Pete out here with two knives, one for him, but also one for me as well. What we're not going to do is we're not going to do a kind of a fighting strategy where he comes on down with a slash and I block. If you can see right here, this may not be the best choice because he can simply pull on out and cut me at the exact same time. Plus, blocking requires a memorization system. I mean, think about it. If he throws me, let's say, angle four of some sort, you know, I might have to respond with block 13. It turns it into a memorization game, and we don't have time to all of a sudden remember what we want to do. The best thing to do is, is not just to have techniques, but a concept. And the best concept that we're going to use for this kind of situation is what's called defanging the snake. As Pete comes down with this cut or a slash, I simply cut the hand. Now, when we cut the hand, please understand that we are causing an instant disarm. I mean, think about it. If Pete comes on in to cut me and I simply cut his hand, I'm opening up that arm. I'm opening up that arm by cutting him right through. So not only do you have the mental and emotional shock that's going on, you also have the physical repercussions where Pete's not going to be able to hold on to the weapon at all. So our strategy is simple. We not only cut the hand, but we also move back. We stay at a safe range. Why do we do that? Well, I could miss. If Pete comes on in here, I miss, you know, and let's say I get slashed across the face, that obviously would not be a very, very good thing. So by moving back and cutting the hand, I keep myself at a safe distance, but I also put in the technique that's going to disarm him. Now, it's really easy to start focusing on the techniques here and start thinking about, okay, would I go here for this angle or this for this angle? Think of it this way. Keep it simple. Focus on the concept. Simply cut the hand. And please understand that when I say cut the hand, it's more of a general term. Anything from the elbow on down would be fair game and is also going to give us the result that we want. So whether Pete is feeding from this angle or this angle or this angle, all of it's the exact same. I'm still cutting the hand. I don't have to think, okay, let's see. If it's at this angle, I do this kind of a block. And if it's from this angle, I do this kind of a block. Once again, it's something that I think traditional martial arts probably has not given us the right kind of mentality to think about weapons fighting. We now would all of a sudden have to think of a block for every single kind of an angle that would come on down. Not only that, but also every single kind of a weapon. I mean, if he would change weapons, then we would have to change the strategy, and that's not what we want. We want simplicity. So the first drill that we're going to do to practice this defanging the snake kind of technique is what's called a three and three drill. What's going to happen is, is that Pete's going to come on in. He's going to feed three angles, any three angles he wants. Paul's going to respond by cutting and moving back, cutting, moving back, cutting, moving back. But then Paul's going to feed back his three angles as well. And what this is going to create is this a simple situation where both people are going to be able to practice this simple technique. Guys, three and three drill. Now watch how they illustrate keeping a safe distance while still being able to go after that person's arm that's coming on in. Once again, the attacker comes on in, they simply move back. Good, now slow it down please. Three and three drill. time. So I'm going to bring Paul out here. Pete's going to feed him and you're seeing these guys move around and Paul's simply going to move back while defanging the snake. Paul, set, go.
time.